Hey folks, it's Thursday, February 18th. We are at the end of unit two. So that's exciting. The first thing you're gonna do, and this will probably take about, uh, I don't know, it should take you like three quarters of the class. I want you to like read and respond to at least four of your peers' flash analysis posts. Um, Y'all did a pretty good job last time um, of, you know, dialoguing, dialoguing with each other and really highlighting how much you appreciated uh, each other's work. Uh, and uh, it was really great. I really appreciated how thoughtful and considerate you were in responding to each other. So go team, let's have a repeat of that. Okay. So um, the next task is it's just going to learn about unit three. I recorded a video <laughs> of uh, introduction to unit three. It's weird, right? It's weird doing these like video introductions to um, to units. Uh, so, but anyway, there's a video introduction uh, to uh, unit three. And so there's gonna be a video that's gonna, that's linked here. The key thing to know is just that I feel like unit three is like a really cool unit, but it is definitely going to be one of those that it could potentially be really challenging because the podcast itself, it doesn't like pull any punches. It's like using satire to talk about like racism and classism and that intersection in the US, um, but in a like post-apocalyptic context with like zombies and vampires. So, and, and, and the theories that we're going to be using, right, critical race theory, um, abolition theory, um, Marxist theory, those are theories that are like, oh, gosh, you know, so um, and if you're like, what I mean to say is that if you're not familiar with um, that area of scholarship, um, an area of critique, you uh, might be challenged. And I think that's good, right? Because, I mean, this is a intro to critical theory, not intro to comfortable theory, right? So just kind of like... Yeah, so all this to say, my video introduction is basically like, hey, just so you know, like, this is what stuff is about. And um, so it, I don't want to say that it's a rambling video, because that's unfair to myself. But it is a 13 minute video. If you want to just like multitask while you're listening to it, that is super cool. And no, absolutely no judgment. The bulk of the video is basically me giving you an overview of what each of the articles uh, that you could pick from, because there are four articles that you can pick uh, for uh, homework. I might as well scroll on down to that. Um, so there are, you just pick two of these, uh, of these articles here. Um, and so actually I have to add the other one here. Good times. Anyway, so you're going to, you, you're just going to pick two and you know, the reason why I'm giving you the overview is so that you can decide, Hey, like this is the article I think I want to look at, or maybe like, no, this is not the article I want to look at. Right. And so just keep in mind as always, do not, how do I put this for homework? When you're choosing the articles, my biggest advice and what I always tell students is never ask a question you don't want an answer to, right? So what I mean to say is like, if you feel like something might be too challenging for you or you're, I don't know, just like what I'm trying to say is choose wisely because I do want you to, to make sure that you are following the directions for like the active reading assignment and so forth, okay? <laughs> so that's, that's my intro for today. Respond to each other's flash analysis posts. Check out my video that is slightly rambly, unlike this one. And then, right, for homework, you're going to pick two of the articles that are listed for homework and read them. There are four listed there for you. You're just picking two. All right? Go team.